What's up everyone and welcome back to the Long Life Channel. It is uh, March 3rd, it's like 57 degrees and uh, me and Rupert's Rewinds are gonna head over to Crystal Cove to ride our, uh, he's got an electric scooter and I got a one wheel. So if you're not a subscriber already, be sure to click that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell so that way every time I release a new video, you get a notification on your phone. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we don't break any any bones today. I ain't riding the one wheel. Good. Last time you rode it, you crashed. Yeah, I ate beef. Ate beef? Yeah. Hey, check out my sweet one wheel. <laughs> you be the first one. Anyways, to um, stay tuned as we drive over to the Crystal Cove here in South Sioux. Here we are. Crystal Cove. Dare you to go ice fishing? No. Nah, all right, we made it to the Crystal Cove here in South Sioux City, Nebraska. Oh heck yeah! Getting ready to do the old uh, Segway and one wheel. Check out my hog. <laughs> Two wheels are always safer than one. Yeah, but you know, it is what it is. So, what model is this, Chris? Tell tell everybody a bit about this uh, Segway here. It's the Nine Bot Max. It's got a forty mile range on it. That way, if my, if my car ever breaks down, I don't have to take this all the way home. It'll take a while to get me there. We're, we're going home. Going so, places. what's the retail on one of these puppies? More than you can afford, <laughs> nine bot. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah. And then uh, I got the the one wheel pint here. Heck yeah. Yeah. Got a little handle. Just pick it up. Set her down. Sweet. It's been a. Uh, it's been a while since I've ridden this. I'm gonna have to link it with my, it's got Bluetooth and it's got different settings. So I'm gonna log in and change the settings on the board to kind of stiffen it up because we're gonna ride around Crystal Cove here. So here is here is the app on my phone and it, um, my battery's at 60, I know there's a glare, 62% and 62 miles. Huh. So, Anyways, I'm going to try to change the settings on the ride. It's been so long since I've done this. Okay, so right now it's it's Pacific, Elevated, and Skyline. And Redwood. So you got to hit the little question mark to see what this is playful aggressive town or trail let's see here easy choice Pacific is designed for the flow of every situation loose and buttery well we don't want loose and buttery elevate the noise maximum hill climbing we don't want that and skyline go full pocket rocket which I don't want to crash so we're gonna we're gonna do redwood and that should keep the board pretty tight so Redwood is activated. So we'll see how much battery life we have left. We'll see how much battery life we have left and how many miles we actually ride and we'll, we'll go from there, so. All right, so my favorite setting on this one wheel is, is gonna be the, the Pacific setting. And what we had going around the cove was the Redwood setting, which is, it's a stiffer board um, where Pacific, is they call it buttery but i like it because it just makes the board more loose and then you can you can basically go slower in parking lots and get get it to turn the way you want to so i'm going to show you how to get on the one wheel and kind of just going slow around in the parking lot in this specific mode and then how to get off the one wheel getting off the one wheel can be one of the hardest parts if not the biggest part of not trying to crash so and then the other part is once you actually get on the board, just trusting it that it's going to work is, is, is uh, something that just comes with time. So here, hopefully we can, hopefully we can see this. All right, I'm gonna get on here, okay. And I'm just going to push forward with my left leg and kind of just trust it. And there, it just gets going. This thing, you can go around 
real easy parking lot. Nice and slow. Pretty, pretty easy. So, see how the board is really kind of wobbly? And you can go really slow and kind of get your balance. This, this works good in like parking lots and stuff. So if you want to go slow and kind of, you just use your body to turn. Like if you want to go to the right, you want to go to the right, you just kind of lean to the right. If you want to go to the left, you just kind of lean back. And trust that it's going to work. You know? So, but yeah, you can see how, how much more you can like almost snowboard, you can almost carve with it. You know, and you can go pretty slow and maneuver around so not not too bad now i'm going to show you the hardest part of trying to get off or dismount the one wheel so you're gonna just kind of come to a stop and lean yourself back and it'll kind of just roll back there for a second so you're gonna just kind of try to stop yourself and then lean to the back and it'll just come back a little bit and then it'll just tip itself so getting off one of these can be one of the hardest the hardest things is getting off. So getting on, just push forward with your left leg and then stand up like that. And then just balance yourself. It's not bad, it's not bad once you get the hang of it. Same thing, if you want to dismount, you just, it wants to go back a little bit. Um, they say that you can you can jump off with two feet, but I find that the board wants to take off and get crazy So once you get going, it's not bad But this is a lot of fun it, I'm sure it's pretty dangerous if you know You didn't ride it right, but Anyways, figured I'd show how to get on and off the one wheel with my favorite setting in the Pacific You look here a mall cop Yeah, doing a firmware update because I haven't rode it in months. I was gonna say I haven't rode this since uh, November or something. So yeah, do firmware update. All right, cool. Here well, we go. We're getting ready to uh, go cruise around the cove here. Let's do it. Look, did you just have that? What? Uh, check it out, dude. Uh, it's got GPS. Tells you where it's at. Miles all right, per let's hour. do it. Let's go. Hit it. Go. Take off. Let's uh, let's show everybody what you're working with. like a skateboard oh. okay here we go follow, you. follow me yeah. We're cruising now let's hope I don't crash Mine doesn't, I don't want it to go that fast. They say this thing goes like, I don't know, 18 or something like that, but it's, it's fast enough. This is fast enough. I'll put it on eco mode. Yeah, I would too. going up this hill and check out the squirrel we got real wildlife here there's a chubby boy. oh making a curve here we go it's all wet oh man i hope i don't crash oh shoot makes me nervous only when you get off Everybody gives you love. 
I'm good. How you guys doing? We're just big side kids is what we are. Kids that never grow up. Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh man, about crash. About crashed right there. I wasn't paying attention. I was checking the babes out. Okay, here we go. All right. We're back in business. That, that got pretty wild. About made it around the whole thing. I think my legs were fatigued. And I uh, went into the grass. About, about, about 80. Oh, my right leg's on fire. Oh, we made it all the way around. Let's, uh, I'll check the, uh, my app on my phone to see what the battery life is at and then how many miles we were at 62 before. My calves, they burn. All right, let me see. Let me get the app out. Okay, I don't know if there's a glare, but still saying 63 miles. Or maybe that's battery life's got 63 miles built into it. I don't know. Oh, trip. 1.4 miles and then it's at 42% okay so I have a three mile range left on this battery I used up 20% so like if you're in a parking lot and you want to like car they call it carve I think this Pacific is the best because it's very loose and like buttery Elevated as if you're like gonna go off roading like I did in the grass. That was so there's there's different things on how it controls the board. So I like Pacific if I'm in going slow and I'm in parking lots. But Redwood if you're doing like big long trail like that. But like I said, my calves. Oh my god, my calves are on fire. Give you a 20 to go out on the ice. <laughs> hundred to make it through cross from one end to the other I think you could do it no. you don't think so uh, I ain't trying somebody was just you know ice fishing right here yeah <laughs> there we go yeah I'm just gonna dig her in there right there yeah, that it safe. yeah stayed on the dock so 1.4 1.4 miles all the way around here that's what it came came to be how was your ride around Crystal Cove fun yeah cool um, got me excited for camp season. Yeah. So you have the 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 Segway Max. Nine Bot Max Max, which has got like a forty mile range. Yeah, it's like the biggest battery capacity. Yeah. So like, if you're real serious about riding around in the city and going long places, that'd probably definitely be it. Yeah. I would say that if you're a person that isn't so good at like. Balancing. I think if you're a person that has like a balance issue, like my wife, Jesse knows that she can't balance very well, that a one wheel would not be for you. Um, I think if you did some snowboarding or skateboarding, if you're into that and if you can ride a skateboard or a snowboard pretty decent, then I think you could definitely do a one wheel. Um, both these items are pretty expensive. Yeah. Not not gonna lie, they're well, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. I would say the quality of both both the segways very impressive. The the one wheel, the technology in the one wheel, how it balances itself and stuff is crazy. Um, so I think if you're on the fence of like, oh man, that's a lot of money, should I buy one? I would definitely buy one. Um, if you're not so good at balancing, um, get something with handlebars. Get something with handlebars, like what Chris has got. He originally rode the one wheel and he liked it because it is a cool experience. It's like nothing, it's hard to describe. It's like pavement surfing. Yeah, it's like you're surfing on pavement, but you you realize real quick that, you know, if it's for you or not, like luckily he could try mine and he's like, man, that's, that's cool. That's a cool experience, but I need something with handlebars that's more stable and something that's a little bit more comfortable. So... If you're thinking about buying a one wheel and you're like, man, that's a lot of money, don't hesitate. It's worth the money. If balance ain't your thing, get you a nice Segway, something like that. Just do your research and look at the reviews, and uh, you won't you won't regret it. I know it's like, ah, oh, it's a lot of money, but you know what? It's a 
it's a pretty cool piece of technology this day and age that you know you can get on and ride anywhere and have fun with and Plug it in. Mine's got a 40 mile radius. He said I could, I could drive to Lamar's Iowa. <laughs> so, anyways, that's the difference between a Segway and a one wheel, and our experiences with both. So, all right. Cool. Thanks for watching another video. Stay tuned. Have a nice day.